You'll have heard a million definitions of what money is, but here's a new angle. Money is what it took you to get it. You see, if you had to work for a day to get a hundred bucks, then you obviously have a different relationship to it than if it took you 10 minutes. Even more important than the time comparison is one between values. You see, if you had to work all day at a job that you hate, the chances are the only reward from that work is some money. And money earned that way represents your lost life force or your compromised values, and no matter how you spend it, it's never going to feel like you're paid enough. Conversely, if you spent your day doing something that made the world a better place, was personally uplifting and delivered some cash, the chances are the money doesn't matter as much. And you'll behave far differently with that money than the stuff that feels like you were taken advantage of. Therefore, how you earn your money is way more important than how much of it you can actually get your hands on. And the reason why is deceptively simple. If you get it that the best money of all is passive income, you know, cash you get without having to turn up at a workplace, money that comes in the mail, then you'll also know that the most often comes because you invested in something. Now, you might have bought a house or some shares in a company and all going well, they go up in value or pay rent or a dividend or whatever, and you didn't have to do anything. What smashes most people about is the investment concept. Simply, it says put your money in first. You have to actually part with it. And people who had to sacrifice to get that money will approach investing with a guarded, negative, vigilant attitude. They're going to try and pick winners or play the old buying low and selling high game. But Warren Buffett says that that's a recipe for failure. He says most people who try it end up losing money, which is the very thing that they were so frightened of. People who earn their money doing work that they enjoyed invest more freely. You'll notice I did not say people who earn larger pay packets invested more freely. No, the secret to investing isn't what you invest in, but how often you invest. When the money doesn't have to be ripped from your soul, you'll set it free to do its thing, which works way better than desperately trying to control it.